Houston back in high school, and I don't think you know this, Adam, but I looked her in the eye and I said, you're going to marry my brother one day. reoccurring person throughout our four and a half years in college that nobody knew who he was. We just heard stories and you were being a little bit secretive about it, but I knew he was always calling you because he had a special ringtone. It was so fresh and so clean. <laughs> So I started thinking, how on earth did Adam Panetta land this girl? <laughs> Certainly not his looks, not his perfect hair and piercing eyes and tan complexion and keen jawline. Adam described Kristen in one word and it was selflessness. So caring and giving and you always put others first. <laughs> So So relationships are strengthened under stress. Outside forces will push and pull on your bond. Tragedy and loss test a relationship. And there's already been great loss as evidenced by a missing family member today. Adam, brother, you have been nothing but a mentor to me and an ideal role model. You were the man in the household growing up. And I'll never forget the wrestling matches in the living room that you always said you won when really Sarah and I kicked your butt. <laughs> and maybe one day, sooner than later, we'll be wrestling with our children like Dad did with us. And man, how Dad would be so proud of you, Adam. Because I know he's looking down right now. And he would just be so happy. this handsome, charismatic, brilliant intellect that I proudly call my brother. But if I can attribute one person to help and mold and shape my brother into the person he is today, it's you, Kristen. Oh my God. So this is the dress. This is it. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just look beautiful. You ready for this? <laughs> you ready to go? Seal this promise with a kiss.
Justin, when she puts her mind to something, she, she does it. Adam, she bird-dogged you in high school, and whether you knew it or not, you're here today for that reason. 